My goodness, there's a lot there. Oh, one's just jumped in. Oh my lord. One, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Welcome back to So Grow and Cook. Today I'm going to be planting some climbing peas, the sorts that you grow for the peas inside, shelling peas. I'll show you what I've got. I've got uh, about 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, about 60 plants and I've got a space that I made in an old raised bed. And I've got a frame, I don't know if you can see it here, using some stock fencing, an old bit of stock fencing. And um, I think it's some sort of mesh that you use for concrete, um, when you're laying concrete foundations or something. I just found a bit of this behind one of our sheds and it's a bit rusty, but it's big and it's solid. And I've attached it to some metal poles here. So nothing pretty to look at, but it'll be functional. And when you live on a small holding, you want to use the materials that you've got. So, Without any more messing about, let's get started planting. So I'm going to be planting them in holes about six inches apart. Um, I could put them a little bit closer. They'll just intertwine and find their way up those um, wires and things. So it's not absolutely crucial that it's an exact science or anything. Just squeeze them in where you can. And the soil here is quite well cultivated and very rich, so they should do okay.
Okay, so I managed to get about 30 of these pea plants in. I wanted them all to be able to climb up this wire uh, mesh stuff that I found. I think that'll uh, work okay. The soil is really nice and fertile, I hope. I had other things growing in here last year. I think it was celeriac and some parsnips. Um, I added a bit of compost in the autumn as a top up and a mulch um, and it's rotted down nicely so hopefully this is going to be really good for these climbing peas. I've got some quite a few spares that um, didn't get planted up and I may plant these in another spot. Um, possibly where I planted them last year on the hazel stick teepee. Let's go have a look at that. And while I take you there, we'll have a quick look at the flowers blossoming in the border here. Some rather nice tulips. And a few daffodils. Oh, daffodils here. And lots of tulips that have blossomed and more to come yet. Let's just have a little walk over. Here's the hazel teepee that I had last year. And I remembered that the pea plants have got very fine little tendrils that need to wrap themselves around something fairly fine so rather than expecting them to climb up this like a bean would do i'm putting a little bit of this wire here now it doesn't look very pretty and certainly i've got to weed all that in there first before i plant anything up but once the peas grow tall you're not going to see any of this wiring it's really going to cover it up Okay, so in the end, I planted the rest of the climbing peas in the area that I was going to plant the sugar snap peas. But it turns out I had a lot more shelling peas than I did sugar snap peas. So the shelling peas have one and I've planted 30 here and 30 in the bed. That's just down across the plot and the sugar snap peas because there's fewer of them are going to go in the hazel cane teepee as soon as I've cleared the weeds from there. So that's it for today. I've just made a quick video because I hadn't done one in a while. It's just an extremely busy time of year but there you go, that's springtime on a small holding. What's this in the strawberry bed? Stella, you're not a strawberry plant. You're sweet, but you're not a strawberry. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Eric and Maynard's hatched.